Ladies and gentlemen, this morning I was eating Crayola when I realized it wasn't Crayola I was eating, but in fact, just normal wax sticks. And that got me thinking that in today's video, we are going to be discussing what is just a right around the corner when it comes to Hello Games, No Man's Sky and the possibility of No Man's Sky 2. We know that they are working very hard in the background on the next big LP, but what could that all possibly mean? Well, let's discuss it. So hey everybody, my name is Professor Cynical. Now, with the next big LP just right around the corner, No Man's Sky from 2016 has had a very rocky start, that's no secret, but it was a 2016 release. And the team have been working very hard ever since then to make up for, you know, lost promises that the game was meant to have on the original launch. And I think they've completely over-delivered on the promises that they set out to make in regards to updates over the course of many years. And they are still adding to that very aspect. However, hidden in the shadows, we have Hello Games. And they are working on a quote-unquote, not No Man's Sky 2, but, and there is a but here, it could be like No Man's Sky 2, and I'm going to tell you why. Now, have you ever heard of the the saying, if, if it's not broken, don't fix it? Now, with No Man's Sky, yes, we know that there is limitations with No Man's Sky. We know about the myriad of bugs and problems, but the formula of how it has become the most played and the most successful space game ever is not something I believe that Hello Games is going to give up very likely. Now, sure, I think that Norman Sky itself is going to have a few more years under its belt yet, and it's still going to get regular updates and whatnot, but the team are also working on something very big, and I don't believe for a single second they're going to take a formula like Norman Sky and how successful it was for them and go in a completely new and different direction. It just wouldn't make very good business sense. So, we can assume that it might not be called Norman Sky 2, but I can safely assume that it's also going to be very, very, very similar, especially when the technologies that the, that the team have been developing in-house to drive, for example, the procedural generated worlds, and all of the in-game assets, they're not then not going to pull that over and improve it on the next game. They're not just going to forget about it and leave it in Norman Sky where it currently sits. So under that assumption, what we can say is the next game from Hello Games is going to be another some sort of procedurally generated game. Now, will that be procedurally generated galaxies and planets that is yet to be seen but the core technology of procedural generation is possible maybe it's going to be just one world and it's not going to focus as in so much on the space aspect but one planet but it's actually a life-size planet now that's what i think they're going to procedurally generate this world and we're all going to, every single player is going to be on that world. Now that would be flipping amazing because they have the technology in-house to do it. Now if we, for example, compare Starfield to No Man's Sky, look at the differences. Now Starfield has had to build their own engine of sorts, their creation engine, but it can't do what No Man's Sky's engine can do and that is true planet procedural generation i'm talking from going into space landing down on the planet seamlessly without any cut screens jumping on the surface and then if you wanted to take a whole walk around the entire planet where in for example starfield you cannot do that it is a cut screen simulator by all accounts and you can only walk at normal speed around about 40 minutes in any direction until you hit a boundary and then you're forced to reload that area or go back. Now, 
with Norman Sky, that has never ever been an issue. And there is 18 quintillion planets in 257 galaxies that you can do that with and just run around in any planet in any orbit and that to me says a lot now like i said hello games is not going to give up that technology but they can definitely improve on it and plus that if they are working on this new title which means they're going to be using next gen hardware which also lifts them from the current limitations technical limitations that currently unfortunately no man's sky is implemented because unfortunately again it is all last generation and with last generation technologies comes a lot of limitations as we are all feeling especially across the lines of multiplayer and the myriad of bugs that Norman Sky still has. Now, when we talk about time frames here, when are we looking at this next big Hello Games release title? Now, I don't think it's gonna be a small game because if it's a small game like we've done in the past, then like, like for example, Campfire, I, I don't think it's gonna be a smaller game like that, especially with how long it has taken them. But if we look at a realistic timetable, we know that most companies get games out anywhere within two to five years. And we know that No Man's Sky isn't by any means a major, you know, publisher house. They have a very limited and humble team. But saying that, they have just very recently gone on a recruitment drive and they've been hiring a lot of different talent in order to work on games. Now, originally everybody thought that this was gonna be new talent for Hello Games to, to really kind of like dive in there and, and really bring the game out to where it's meant to be with all these bugs and, and everything else like I was saying about earlier to be fixed. But that never happened. But they've still hired all these different people. So what could that mean? It means, in my personal and humble opinion, that they are bringing everybody that they can and everybody who they can afford to work on this next big LP. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as we all know, we do not have a trailer for this new game. There's been no press releases. There's been nothing other than Mr. Murray himself saying that basically that they are working on a different game. So if I had to give a predicted timetable for this, they announced it last year. So they've had a year at the very least that we know about in development. Now, if they announced it last year to saying that they are working on something, I'm going to safely assume they've been working on this for an additional year on top of that because you don't just announce something without already having something, if that makes sense. They can't just announce something without actually having anything or any work done. So I can safely assume that it's been two years so far in the making, this being the third year. Now, if we go off strongly by the two to five year timescale, two for the massive big industry leaders and you know five for the smaller, humbler companies, which again, unfortunately hello games is then we can assume that we could be getting a trailer at some point next year now if that is the case the game then would be released the year after that so i believe in the next year or two we will get a final definitive answer on what is coming out from hello games and what is the next big game going to be however where does that then leave Norman Sky? Now, like I said at the beginning of today's video, I believe that it's still got a few years under its belt yet, and I don't think it's going to be completely abandoned. I still think that there'll still be updates. However, when this new LP comes out, it's going to be the new baby of Hello Games, and we can just assume that with the new golden child out in the big wide world then we won't be getting as many updates as what we currently are so every couple of months or so you know we can expect two or three or even four major updates a year that's what it's currently at but it could be as little as one or none 
every year and it'll just be smaller patch updates instead so i don't think they'll let it go completely down the toilet but what i will say is it will start ramping down rather than ramping up and i believe they're going to use norman sky as a test bed for any technologies that they do want to implement into the new lp before it launches obviously they won't do it after the fact so that leaves me to believe that in the next few years like i said we're going to get a brand new game from hello games and before that no Man's sky will still continue as usual we might get some amazing new groundbreaking technological advancements in no Man's sky and I, I firmly believe that's going to be coming out especially all next year so that's something really good to look forward to but i still think it's going to be like i said no Man's sky is just going to be a test platform i, I believe kind of from now onwards but yeah, let me know your thoughts about all this in the comments section down below. Do you think that Hello Games' new LP is just around the corner and we could get as little as like a trailer or even word officially at some point next year? Let me know your thoughts about that comment section down below. Anyway, guys, that is everything from me here today. And as always, my name is Professor Cynical and I'll catch you all again in the next one. Bye for now.